In a previous video, we saw how non-metal atoms with empty electron locations will share a pair of electrons to complete their outer shells. A pair of shared electrons is called a single covalent bond and is shown as a single line between the atoms. This single covalent bond is the force that binds this hydrogen and chlorine together into one molecule. In this video, we explore double covalent bonds, as in this dioxygen molecule, commonly referred to as oxygen. And we also look at a triple covalent bond, as in this dinitrogen molecule, commonly referred to as nitrogen. Oxygen, nitrogen and carbon are examples of non-metal atoms that can form double or triple covalent bonds. That's because they have more than one empty location in their outer, or valence, electron shells. Oxygen has six outer electrons and so two empty locations to complete the outer shell with eight electrons. As a result, it can form two covalent bonds. In a molecule of water, these two bonds are formed as each hydrogen atom shares electrons with the oxygen atom. Each pair of shared electrons is a single covalent bond. However, in a molecule of oxygen, the two oxygen atoms complete their outer shells by sharing two pairs of electrons, what we call a double covalent bond. Each oxygen atom has a full eight valence electrons because both atoms share the four bonding electrons. In the Lewis diagram, we can show each pair of shared electrons as a line between the atom symbols. Together, the two lines represent the double covalent bond, which is stronger and shorter than a single bond, holding the oxygen molecule tightly together. A nitrogen atom has five outer electrons, and so three empty locations to complete the outer shell with eight electrons. As a result, it forms three covalent bonds. In a molecule of ammonia, these three bonds are formed as each hydrogen atom shares electrons with the nitrogen atom. Each pair of shared electrons is a single covalent bond. But in a molecule of nitrogen, the nitrogen atoms complete their outer shells by sharing three pairs of electrons, what we call a triple covalent bond. Each nitrogen atom has a full eight valence electrons because both atoms share the six bonding electrons. In the Lewis diagram, we can show each pair of shared electrons as a line, and together the three lines represent a triple covalent bond. This bond is even stronger and shorter than a double bond, and so the nitrogen molecule is held together extremely tightly. A carbon atom has four valence electrons, and so four empty locations to complete the outer shell with eight electrons. As a result, it forms four covalent bonds. In a molecule of methane, these four bonds are formed as each hydrogen atom shares electrons with the central carbon atom. Each pair of shared electrons is a single covalent bond. However, in a molecule of carbon dioxide, these four bonds are made with just two oxygen atoms. The four empty locations in the carbon atom and the two empty locations in each oxygen atom are simultaneously filled by the sharing of electrons. This results in two shared pairs of electrons between the carbon and each oxygen atom. And so, two double covalent bonds. The carbon atom has a full outer shell of eight electrons, and each oxygen has a full outer shell of eight electrons. And we can show this bonding in a Lewis dot diagram, using lines for each shared pair of electrons to represent the two double covalent bonds. Carbon can also form a triple bond, as it does in a molecule of carbon monoxide. In this molecule, three pairs of electrons are shared between the carbon and oxygen atom, completing the outer electron shells of both the carbon and oxygen atoms.